Well, hello and welcome back. Today's video is Irish cream cookies with Irish cream buttercream. The cookies are two ways, an Irish cream sugar cookie and a brownie cookie. And then the Irish cream buttercream is two ways, a non-alcoholic version and one using Baileys. So you can choose which combination you like or do all of them and see which one you like best. So first you're going to cream your butter and sugar. And then you're going to add in your eggs and vanilla. Then again, cream that and beat it until it's smooth. Then you're going to pour in your Irish cream and mix that until nice and smooth and incorporated. Then you want to sift together your flour, baking powder, and salt. Then you're going to slowly mix that into your Irish cream mixture. And mix that until it's nice and mixed and you don't see any flour. After you have that all mixed, you're going to lay out your saran wrap or your plastic wrap and you're going to flatten it into a ball, wrap it, well, form it into a ball, then flatten it and then wrap it well with your plastic wrap and you're going to refrigerate that for about two hours. You can actually leave that overnight so if you wanted to make this dough ahead of time or if you're in a hurry, you can stick it in the freezer for about half an hour to 45 minutes. Once your dough has chilled for the required time, you're going to preheat your oven to 350 degrees. Bring your dough out and you're going to have a parchment lined cookie sheet. And you're going, ahead, going to go ahead and use a large ice cream or cookie scoop and scoop out your cookie dough. I usually do about six per cookie sheet and you can go ahead and take a spatula and flatten the tops down if you want a slightly flatter cookie. You're going to bake those cookies for about six to eight minutes um, until they're no longer shiny because you don't want to overcook them because you want to keep them soft on the inside. For your chocolate, you're going to go ahead and add your chocolate to a microwave safe bowl and you're going to go ahead and microwave that in 15 to 30 second increments until it's nice and smooth Then set that to the side. In a mixing bowl, you're going to sift your flour, your cocoa powder, your baking powder, and your salt. Then in another mixing bowl, you're going to mix, you're going to beat your butter, your sugar, and your brown sugar until that's all nice and mixed. in your melted chocolate and you're gonna mix that until it's nice and mixed.
you're going to add in your your egg and your egg yolk and then your vanilla and again mix that until it's fully mixed Once that's light and fluffy, you're going to add in your powdered ingredients and again mix until fully incorporated and you see no dry bits. Once you have that all mixed and ready to go, you're going to take another parchment lined cookie tray and you're going to use the same size cookie cutter and scoop out your cookie dough. Again, usually about six to a tray because uh, these usually get pretty large. And again, if you want to flatten them a little bit, these don't really need it too much, but if you want to, you can use a spatula before you put them in the oven. or You can always use a spatula right after you take them out of the oven and get them just a little bit flatter. And you're going to bake these at 350 degrees and you're going to bake these just a little bit longer usually about 13 minutes again until they're nice and set now for the irish cream recipe this is actually really easy as you can see i just divided it into two different bowls one for the non-alcoholic version and one for the alcoholic version it's going to be the same exact recipe you're just going to swap out the irish cream for irish cream coffee creamer and you can add in um, Irish cream extract if you feel like you want a little extra pop of flavor but if this is nice for not an overpowering but a nice subtle Irish cream taste that goes well with the cookies so first you're gonna cream your butter in a bowl or your sand mixer if you want to use that and then you're gonna go ahead and add your powdered sugar in and you're going to go ahead and mix those two together. Then you're going to add in your vanilla and either your Bailey's Irish cream or your Irish cream coffee creamer.
went ahead and put these into piping bags because I wanted to pipe them on the cookies. You can obviously pipe them on or you can just go ahead and use a spatula and spread the icing on. icings already. Once your cookies have cooled, you're going to go ahead and either pipe or spread that onto your cookies. And then you can go ahead and add some green sprinkles or any kind of St. Patrick's Day sp um, sprinkles or decorations that you may have. Or just leave them plain. I really hope you enjoyed these Irish cream cookies. Kind of four ways. <laughs> two different kinds of cookies and two versions of the icing. So if you did, make sure to drop a comment below it that you liked them and gave them a try. And let me know your other St. Patrick's Day loves or favorite foods or anything you like to use with Irish cream flavor. And make sure to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and notification bell because that helps support the channel as well as the thanks button that is extremely helpful. And as always, live, love, eat sweets.